Hello everyone, we are coming to you with another little walking around episode here. Uh, we are coming to you from the Emporium late at night. If you joined us uh, during the Christmas time at all this year, then you probably saw the windows of Main Street when they were decorated for Mickey's Christmas Carol. But now they're back to their normal case. And they have them for like five months, but still, that's besides the point. So this is kind of like a history of Disney animation. Oh, hi Snow White, how you doing? Uh, um, it's kind of a history of the animation for the Walt Disney Company with our first window here being Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And we've got all seven dwarfs here. We got Snow White obviously sitting there twirling around. On our right hand side there, we got Sneezy along with Doopy on his shoulders and the giant coat. Happy is on the staircase on the right hand side. And then at the very top of this staircase, we've got Sleepy up there, Bashful sitting on the stairs. And then over here, we also have Doc along with Grumpy playing on the organ. In our next window over here, we might get interrupted here for a second. We have Cinderella, not as impressive of a window as the other one. Um, mainly due to the fact that, look at the prince's face. He does not look like the prince from the film at all. He kind of reminds me of Tommy Kirk. Tommy Kirk who was in like The Absent Minded Professor and where, was he in that one? Yeah, he was in that one. Um, <laughs> he was in The Shaggy Dog, Swiss Family Treehouse, or Robinson, um, and so many other attractions, or so many other movies. Over here we have The Little Mermaid, the 1989 classic film. So, so far we've had 1937, 1950, and now here we are in 1989. Um, right in the middle we've got Ariel. This is going to be from The Little, uh, or not the End of the Sea segment here. we got Sebastian and Flounder there. And this guy over here is like cut in a rug. Like he is totally dancing it up. And everyone else is just kind of sitting still. Not really enjoying the time. This also used to be a thing for the sources of the Magic Kingdom. So if you look at the back part there, uh, that used to be one of the windows for the interactive game. You can also find up at the top here, right up here, there's two cameras there. That is for that sources of the Magic Kingdom game as well. We continue going around here. Also, I always like to point this out. Osh Popham is a reference to Osh Popham. <laughs> from the film Summer Magic. He was one of the characters there. He was the proprietor of their main street store. So that's why he has the store here, the Emporium on Main Street USA. Okay, our next one takes us over to 1991 with Beauty and the Beast. Belle and the Beast are sitting there in the wonderful ballroom scene. I am kind of upset because we just have a chandelier hanging from nothing there. Um, we also have Lumiere. And is it, what's her name? I'm, I'm drawing a blank on her name right now, Titi. And then over here we also have Mrs. Potts and Chip, Cogsworth, and then the rug as well, the footstool, but it's also a dog. Overall, really, really cool window here. This one takes us to Aladdin, Arabia Night. Um, some people will say that this one down over here is a hidden Mickey. I kind of think it is a hidden Mickey because most of the other ones are upside down. That is one actually that is a right side up. Um, so here we do have Aladdin Jasmine there on the magic carpet. Um, the genie's lamp is right there in front of them. Up through here we do have the genie taking our picture without our permission, might I add. Uh, not a photo fast spot. <laughs> Here at the top, we've got Iago there as well. And of course, all of Agrabah in front of us. So this is 1992, one year after Beauty and the Beast. And our final one over here is gonna be Pocahontas, where, where we are learning to go just around the river bend. Um, of course, we got Flit there, flying right in front of her face. She might run into him, who knows? But at the same time, they seem to be not going anywhere. Uh, Miko is there at the front of the canoe as well. And then on the bottom right there, we do have two otters coming out to play. So those are gonna be our six different scenes found here at the windows of the Emporium. So if you've never checked them out, come check them out on your next visit down. If you've ever been to Disneyland, there are more interactive, they're, they're really cool ones over there. These ones are cool, but simplistic. 
They have been around since the mid-1990s, hence why Pocahontas is going to be our last window here. I would like to have it at some point if we get like, you know, like Princess of the Frog or Tangled or Frozen or something else. Um, kind of an updated one as well would be kind of cool in the future, especially considering the last four windows are 1989, 1991, 1992, and 1995. <laughs> so it'd be nice to have a more modern day one as well. Let me know in the comments, what movie would you put in the windows? If you could get rid of one, which one would you get rid of? And what movie would you replace it with? But that is going to wrap this up. As always, if you're not already subscribed, then make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you once again tomorrow.